Good morning, ma'am. I am Asajun Weska of BSN2A and I am here to demonstrate to you the oxygen administration. Step number one. Identify the client and introduce yourself. Good morning, ma'am. Ako gali, ma'am. Si Isujun Weska, ang nurse nga na-assign sa IMO. Ano gani itong ngalan, ma'am? Lorena Pora. So, pilito mo lang ka, ma'am. Step number two. Explain the procedure to the client. So, ma'am, ang procedure nga himo na ito, ma'am, tawaan ka, ma'am, kang oxygen para mag-okay ang IMO, ma'am, nga paginhawa. So, okay kita, ma'am? Okay. Step number three. Determine the need for oxygen therapy and verify the order of therapy. Respiratory assessment is done to determine the need for oxygen therapy and to develop baseline data if not already available. Then, we have to verify the doctor's order so we could administer oxygen without the doctor's order in cases of emergency. Step number four, assist the client in a semi-fowler's position if possible. The semi-fowler's position permits easier chest expansion, hence easier breathing. Step number five. Explain that oxygen is not dangerous when safety precautions are observed and could ease discomforts of dyspnea. So ma'am, ang oxygen niya at panggamiton ma'am, hindi man siya ma'am delikado. May huwai lang ma'am ti may manigarilyo. Kag huwai lang ma'am ti may magamit kang alcohol, kang oil, kag o kon grease nga marapit sa pasyente nga gina oxygen. Okay kita ma'am? Step number six. Hang no smoking sign. If in the ward, hang in a place easily seen by all. Next step is we have to set up the oxygen equipment and the humidifier. Step number seven, attach flow meter to the oxygen outlet exerting firm pressure. Remember that the flow meter should be in off position. Then step number eight. We have to fill the humidifier bottle with distilled water. Up to the level mark, or if there is no level mark, we have to fill it half full. Step number nine. Attach the humidifier bottle to the base of the flow meter. Step number ten. Attach the prescribed oxygen tubing and deliver device to the humidifier. Step number eleven. Open the oxygen tank and ensure proper functioning. Step number 12. Check that oxygen is free-flowing to the tubing. There should be no kinks in the tubing and connection should be airtight. So this can be done by placing the catheters on the dorsum of the hand or near your face to check flow of oxygen. Step number 13. Check the bubbles in the humidifier as the oxygen flows through the water. You should feel the oxygen at the outlets of the cannula. Step number 14. Set the oxygen at the flow rate order. Example, 2 to 6 liters per minute. Step number 15. Apply appropriate oxygen delivery device. First is we are going to apply the nasal cannula. So, mama, butang ko, mama. First, we have to put the cannula over the client's face with the outlet prongs fitting into the nares and the elastic band around the head. is we have to tape the cannula at the side of the face to stay in place. After that, we have to slip gauze pads under the tubing over the cheekbone to prevent a skin irritation. Another oxygen delivery device is face mask. Place the mask toward the client's face and apply it from the nose downward. Make sure that it fits to the contour of the client's face. Then, secure the elastic band around the client's head snugly and comfortably. After that, we have to pad the band behind the ears and over the bony prominences. This will prevent a skin irritation.
Step number 16. Make the client comfortable. So, ma'am, okay na kita. Comfortable kita, ma'am. Mabukal tayo ako. Ulo mo, ma'am. Okay. Okay na, ma'am? Okay. okay. Step number 17. Assess the client regularly depending on client's condition. X. Inspect equipment on a regular basis. Check the liter flow and maintain level of water in the humidifier. Lastly, document relevant data. Record initiation of therapy and all nursing assessments.